Sir Richard Branson is trying again to set yet another world record. Early this morning, he set sail from New York Harbor in a special boat to cross the Atlantic. It's a mono-hull sailing yacht, and he wants to do it in record time. Before he left to head over to the other side of the pond, Harry caught up with him. It's a sailboat unlike any other in the world, designed by the best nautical minds and outfitted with the latest technology. Richard Branson invited me on board to show me around and talk about his latest odyssey. Everything on this, there's no, there's no steel, there's no metal. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the most important thing is it's incredibly light, and um, hopefully we'll have times where we're going sort of 45 knots through the water, which uh, was faster than, you know, when we broke the transatlantic record in a speedboat. Faster with its 150-foot sail than with an engine. So the winds are blowing 20, 25 miles an hour, maybe 30, and you're up here, and this boat is at an angle like this. Yeah, I mean, the boat will What's be... What's the sensation? Um, the, the, sens the sensation of sailing a boat like this is... Um, Oh, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it'll be absolutely, definitely breathtaking. I mean, it, it, um, the boat will be literally screaming. You'll hear it scream, screaming through the waters. And it will be a sensation he'll share firsthand with his son Sam and daughter Holly. It's obviously every father's dream to be able to share, you know, incredible experiences with their children. And, you know, my, my daughter's just qualified as a doctor, so she'll be on... Uh, as the medic, chief medic, um, but also, you know, she's a very good sailor and so she'll be sailing as well. Um, my son's a, an excellent sailor and, and, and an adventurer and, and, um, and they're, good, they're, they're, they're good fun to be with. How is your life? <laughs> Every time I see you, there's a big smile on your face and uh, it seems like the world is your oyster. Um, well, I'd be a very sad person if I didn't have the biggest smile on my face because I have the, the most incredible life. 